Hi everyone, I'm here to dispel yet another parrot myth for you today, and this time it's going to be about parrots on shoulders. It's widely believed that parrots shouldn't be on your shoulders or anywhere above eye level because it creates a type of height dominance. And I'm here to tell you today that that's complete nonsense. And um, I want to explain to you guys why some parrots get really aggressive when they're on people's shoulders or they get really aggressive when they're on top of their cage or anywhere above eye level. To really understand why some parrots get really nippy when they're above eye level or on your shoulder for instance, um, I want to explain to you guys a scenario that happens for a lot of the time with um, parrot owners and their birds. A lot of people keep their birds on their shoulders while they're um, typing stuff off on the computer or they're just browsing the net. And um, regardless of why the bird's on their shoulders, here's the problem. A lot of people when they're done with any, whatever tasks they're doing, they ask the bird to step up, smokes. Step up. Come on. And then they put the bird back inside the cage. Perch. And they close the cage door and they don't come back till hours later. So the next time smokes. Step up. Come on, smokes. What you doing? Alright. Get on my shoulder, smokes. Can you get on my shoulder? You want to scratch? I'll give you a scratch later. Yeah? Hey, Smokes. What do you want? Can you get on my shoulder? Come on. What do you want? Alright, here you go. I actually have a different problem where Smokey doesn't want to be on my shoulder, so I'm trying to get around. Smokes, can you perch? Come on. There you go. Anyways, if you guys can imagine that scenario, the next time the owner asks the birds to step up off the shoulder, the bird's gonna go, no, I don't think so, because you're gonna put me away. So um, the problem here is a lot of people keep the birds on their shoulders, and when they ask the bird to step up, the first few times the bird steps up, and the, bird, and the owner puts the bird away back inside the cage. That sends a really strong message to the bird that every time I'm on the um, owner's shoulders, and he asks me to step up, he's gonna lock me up. So the bird goes, nope, I'm not gonna do that. And they remember that the next time, so that's why they get so aggressive whenever you guys try to get them um, off your shoulders. Now, here's some advice to prevent your bird from getting aggressive when they're on your shoulders. Um, the first is, once in a while when, you guys are, um, when your bird's on your shoulder, once in a while, ask them, Smokey, step up. And if you guys see here, she, <laughs> she really wants a head scratch right now. That's why she's keeping her head down, but Smokes, step up and I'll give you a head scratch. How's that? Can you step up? Good. If you guys see her um, kind of nibbling on my fingers or on me today, um, it doesn't hurt. What she does is she just gently she moves my finger around a little bit, but again, it doesn't hurt. But as I was saying, once in a while when you guys are interacting with your bird, it's on your shoulders, pick your bird off your shoulders and just give it a head scratch. Give it a seed. Give it a, um, a nut. Give it any kind of reward that it really likes. That way the bird goes, hey, it's not so bad stepping up off the shoulder because my owner gives me like a bunch of head scratches, they give me a nut, they give me a seed, and then they put me right back on. So suddenly stepping off the shoulder doesn't become such a bad thing. Um, I would do that and I would repeat that randomly um, when your bird's on your shoulder, just so that you guys send a message to your bird that, hey, if you're going to step up off the shoulder, it's not the end of the world. You're going to get to go back later, but here's a seed first, here's a nut, here's some better things. Um, before I put you back on. That way, stepping off your shoulder and onto your hand becomes really, really reinforcing. Now with that, I also want to highlight another key point, and a lot of people have um, trouble putting the birds back inside the cage. Um, I would use the same concept um, in that kind of situation. And what I mean is, if you guys have a bird who is really reluctant to go back inside their cage, the problem is that um, if you've had your bird outside in the play stand for like two hours, and you just pick her up all of a sudden to lock her up, the next time you ask the bird to step up, he's going to think, no, I'm not going to do that because you're going to lock me back up. So to prevent that from ever happening, when your bird's outside playing on the play stand, if it's outside playing with you, um, once in a while, just ask the bird to come over to you. Ask the bird to step up. Smokey, step up. Good. And reward your bird for stepping up. Um, the rewards could be head scratches. Smokey really loves head scratches, so um, this works really well for her. If your bird isn't really into um, 
head scratches, you could use seeds, you could use nuts, you could use the bird's favorite toy. Um, whatever it is that's reinforcing to your bird, give that to your bird, then send them right back onto the play stand. Put them back on your arm. Um, let them resume playing, um, but don't always pick your bird up and put it back inside the cage. Don't always pick them up and put them um, where they don't want to be, because that's going to always associate stepping up on your finger with a negative experience or a negative outcome. Smokes, can you get back? Get back on my shoulder. What are you doing? And Smokey will actually even lie upside down on my shoulder. I'll show you guys here. Hey, Smokes. All right, get back on. I don't want you to fall. Can you get back on my shoulder? So she's in a mood right now, guys, where she's really wanting to um, get head scratches. She really wants to cuddle right now. So um, that's not a bad thing, but um, when I'm making these videos, it becomes kind of um, kind of hard sometimes to, to create the video when she's kind of like that. Anyways, um, that's, the, that's the tip I would give you guys. Now, if you guys already have a bird who is really, really nippy and it's hard to work with when they're on the shoulder or when they're on a higher level, here are um, some of my tips. First of all, don't ask the bird to step down. I mean, if I put my finger down here, the bird, <laughs> Smokey's different, but most birds aren't, um, aren't going to feel really comfortable uh, stepping down. Most birds do though, however, um, would rather step up. So if your bird's on your shoulder, or if it's somewhere um, high, like on a really high tree branch or a high um, fence stand, always put your hand at the bird's chest level and ask the bird to step up from there. Um, avoid asking your bird to step down because again, most birds feel really insecure doing that. Um, another thing is, if you guys are asking your bird to step up off your um, shoulder, keep a really firm hand. Um, a lot of people, um, because they've been bitten before, are really, really scared and what they do is they go, all right, step up. And they kind of yank their, their, their fingers back. That makes the bird feel like, hey, I'm not going to step up on that because I'm going to fall off because your finger seems really insecure. So um, if you're going to ask your bird to step up, leave your hand um, either, keep it firm and leave a firm grip and tell the bird, <laughs> step up. And they'll feel confident that, hey, my owner is confident with their hands. Um, I know they're not going to drop me. That way your bird isn't going to be um, aggressive towards you when you ask to step up onto your hand. So again, um, just a reminder, two things. Actually, three. One, whenever your bird steps up on your hand, make it a positive experience. Don't just put the bird away right away. Reward them. Uh, it could be in the form of head scratches, it could be toys. Second, always ask the bird to step up um, rather than down because um, they feel more secure stepping up. And third, when you guys are asking your bird to step up, always keep a firm grip. Um, don't make your hand seem really shaky. Don't leave it uneven. Um, and be confident when you're picking your bird up. Now, to kind of uh, end, end the video, the whole reason why I wanted to make this video, guys, and the whole reason why I make all this, uh, these videos on YouTube is because I see over and over um, people who apply you know, dominance theory when they're training the birds. And here's my response. In the wild, these parrots live in flocks of up to hundreds of birds, and budgies in the wild can number over thousands of birds. And it's really unrealistic to think that any one bird can keep all the other hundreds in line. There is no dominance, there's no pecking order in the wild. And um, further, I know that some breeders are going to disagree with me on this, saying that, oh, well, that's not true, because I breed birds in my aviary, and um, there's a bird that's obviously always in charge. Well, you think about it, in a closed setting, in captivity, um, if you're breeding birds, you keep them in, con in a confined place. And I, I don't know, I don't care if you guys are saying your aviary is like 20 feet long, it's still very confined compared to what they're used to in the wild. So, when given limited space, limited resources, birds and any animal will compete for that. And that's what these um, breeders might be telling you, um, that where birds have dominance. But again, it's not true. In the wild, they live in really, really large flocks. No one bird can keep an eye over all the others and keep them all in line. That's complete nonsense.